Hello folks, welcome back. So we're going to cover very briefly how to use Stata log files, which are essentially recording your entire Stata session so that you have all of the commands that you ran and all of the output from those commands in one text file to refer back to. And do files, which allow you to, instead of using the command window within Stata, save all of the commands that you write in a session so that you can complete a project over a longer period of time and rerun the same analyses over and over if, for example, you need to recode a variable that you use early on in an analysis, a do file allows you to recode the variable and then do all of your subsequent analyses. And that will be particularly useful when we do the final project for the course. All right, so let's get straight into how to use Stata uh, log files to start. So let's open up a data set. Um, I'll use GSS 2016 data set. That's the one that you'll be using for your chapter one assignments, uh, or for your first assignment rather. So we open up the data set and you can see the command that Stata uses to do that is use and then the full path for the GSS 2016 data file. Now the data set is in Stata, it's open in Stata. And before we start running any of our analyses, we want to create a do file. So we can do that in two ways. As usual, there's the point and click way or there's the, the way uh, we can do it by writing the syntax out. I'm going to show you the point and click way because this will be easiest to start with. So you can go up to file, log, begin. For Mac users, there should be an icon at the very top that says begin log, something like that. Um, and the process is similar for Mac users, but the interface looks a bit different, so you folks may need to Google this. Um, and then you just tell the program where you want to save this. Um, if you've taken my advice and created a folder specifically for this class, you can navigate to that folder. Pardon my million nested folders here. So I have a, a 318 folder and I'm going to create a new folder within that and call it log files. And that way for each chapter assignment, you can save the log file in this folder. I'll call this chapter one and just make sure to save as type dot log rather than dot smcl which is the formatted log so please use dot log and this is also noted in your assignment submission instructions on blackboard so save as type dot log click save and then you can see the command that stata used to complete what you just told it to do via point and click which is log using and then the full file path uh, ending with the file name chapter one dot log end quote and that tells us that the log now is open what time we opened it where you're saving this information and now when we run any commands that will be logged so we can type browse to open up the data browser if we close out of that we can see that command was uh, registered if we click summarize and let's just choose one of these um, variables here let's see women's health seriously endangered so we're going to summarize that variable we see the command as well as the output and now let's assume you've completed the assignment for chapter one and you want to close the log in order to be able to submit it on blackboard you must type log close Okay, so you always start your log at the very beginning of the session. First thing you do once you open up Stata, um, you can begin the log. You might even begin the log before opening up the data set and complete your uh, assignment using the commands and always then finish your session with log close before closing out of Stata. Once you click on log close, you will be able to navigate to the folder where you saved it. Hopefully you created a log files folder. 
And now you can see you have a chapter one text document that you can open up and it shows you everything from where you began the log, browse, summarize this health variable, the output from that, and log close. So this is what you are submitting on Blackboard for your assignments, this log file in dot log format. And again, you'll want to save it in a folder if you've created a 318 folder for this course and hopefully separate folders for your data and separate folders for your log files. Um, okay, so that's the process of using logs. Now let me pause for a moment and let's redo this whole process, but using a do file. So a do file again will allow you to um, save your commands so that instead of typing them by hand every time in the command box, if you were doing a longer project that takes several weeks, uh, you might save your do file editor so that you have a, or save your do file so that you have a history of the syntax that you've used and easy ways to recode. If you make a mistake late in the project, you need to recode multiple um, variables and rerun subsequent analyses. A do file allows you to do that with a single click as opposed to having to manually redo everything through the command window. All right, so how do you open up a do file? You go to Window, Do File Editor, New Do File Editor. So this now has created a do file. I can save as, give it a name immediately. Perhaps in addition to a log file folder, I might have a do file folder and save it as chapter one. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do this for the assignment, but for your final projects, you will want to use a do file. So it's good to get in the habit of using it if you feel you're at that point where you can handle one additional step for your assignments, I'd encourage you to do this. So we have a do file for chapter one saved now in a folder that's called do files. And I might copy the information that I use to open the data set, the use and then the whole file path. And this tells me that that's the data set that I'm using for chapter one. And then I might log, create a log. So this is assuming I haven't done any of this yet. Um, let's pretend we haven't done it yet in Stata, but I'm writing out what the new file would look like. So I might actually create a chapter one log before I even open up the data set. So this tells Stata, I'm first going to open up Stata and begin a log and it's called chapter one dot log. And I can add replace if I want to copy over any previous chapter one dot log that is in that folder. If I don't wanna copy over the logs, and I often don't because I like to see what I do in different Stata sessions, then I won't use the replace command. So once I've logged, I can then type in use and I might add comma clear. That tells Stata that if I already have a data set open, I can clear it out and open this one here that I'm specifying. And then I might type in summarize I'll just use the same variable I used previously, summarize ab health. And then I might type log close. And you'll see, I'm gonna use replace here because my log file is already um, saved as chapter one. So I'm gonna tell it to replace the old version of that log file. I'm gonna keep clear here because I have a data set already in use. And now if I highlight all of these commands and click on this far right button that says execute selection or do, I can run all of these commands with just one click. And you'll notice 
the command then is do this do file. And this is what it ran. So it did the temporary do file. It began the log as I asked it to, replacing the old chapter one log. Then it opened up the GSS 2016 data set. Then it summarized that variable and then it closed the log. So you can see hopefully how this could be a lot quicker um, keeping this information. So I now save this do file. And if I close out of Stata, I can go back to Stata and open up the do file. And then I pick up where I left off. Next time I might start a new log or I might add commands here and run a new session, <clears throat> but it allows me to add on to my project without having to redo things, redo the entire project every time and having a very clear log of what I did during the process. Again, this will be most useful for your final project, but if you're feeling up to the challenge of beginning to integrate this now, it's a great idea. Okay, thank you so much for your attention today. Good luck.